Yeah. All right. Let me go you on here. Yeah. TMZ is reporting Lindsay Lohan failed two drug tests. Howard Samuels, founder and CEO of the Hills Treatment Center in Los Angeles. Uh, okay, one for cocaine, which is, guess what? In case anybody's not aware, cocaine is illegal. It's against the law. <laughs> and the other one is amphetamines. Now, some were speculating, oh, maybe that's some of her medications. But a blogger suggested maybe it's crystal meth. I'm just asking, Dr. Howard Samuels. Well, I got to tell you, Jane, once again, I'm outraged because of the arrogance and the entitlement of these two women. But that's sort of par the course for, you know, Hollywood and addiction and alcoholism. And what really needs to happen, yes, they need to pay for it, but they also need to go to treatment, but not 30 days. They need to spend a year in a drug and alcohol treatment center. And if they right. leave against the wishes, they need to Doctor, then go to jail. On the other side, you're going to complete your sentence. I got to tell you. Uh, that while I was having my makeup done and we were looking at this story breaking today about Lindsay in Paris, uh, somebody turned to me and said, you know, my brother is doing 15 years because uh, he was caught associating with drug dealers in the general vicinity while he was on probation. He didn't have any drugs on him. And now he's doing 15 years. You know, this has got to create resentment in America between the haves and the have-nots, does it not? And Jane, you're absolutely right. I mean, an addict is an addict. Rich, poor, no matter what color you are, addiction is addiction. And what's so sad about this is that these two women are getting away with it. Their addiction is going to continue until they're put away in a treatment center, not prison, because a treatment center is where they're going to recover. But for a year, not 30 days, a solid year.